what is going on guys welcome back to freeze code today we're going to be learning variables so we're going to go ahead and hit learn so every program works with variable with values a variable lets you store a value by assigning it to a name the name can be used to refer to the value later in the program for example, in game development, you would use a variable to store how many points a player has scored. So variables are basically something that can be changed um, depending on the circumstance. So it'd be easier to show you how to use them. So each, va each variable has a type which defines the type of value it holds. A variable can hold a text value, a number, a decimal, or um, a character, um, so all of that. We are already familiar with text values. They are created using quotes, so this is called a string. So if you had a variable um, which you wanted to hold text in, you would declare it as a string. Which of the following is a string? So, welcome since it does have the quotes. Okay. Let's create a variable type string and this uh, creates a variable name called name of type string. Now, our variable name can hold string values or basically words. So, yeah. So this is called a declaration. So first you put the type and then you put the name of your variable. So it's very easy. So first you put the type. So let's say string variable called message. So string message. Boom. Bam. Okay. And then after declaring our variable, we can assign it using the equals operator. So in this case, equals, a single equals is used for um, assignment, not equality. So this assigns, so basically string name um, is declared. So we can use it now and it's name equals James. So this, so name holds the value James. Okay, note that string should be should start with a capital letter S. A lowercase version will cause an error. Fill in the blanks to declare a variable called city and assign it to the variable to the value in New York to it. Alright, so string so variable called city and then we use the single and then for here, we would do semicolon since all statements do have to end with a semicolon. Perfect. All right, we can use a variable in our program. For example, let's output um, the, let's output its value using print line. So we would we run this this would print out James so instead of printing like James hard coding it we can use a variable so we can change James to like to bro and it would print out bro and we don't have to change anything else so that's the value that's the um really the value and the advantages of variables. Rearrange the code, declares, okay, variable called country, assign it to UK, and then print it out. Boom. Variables we can combine, yeah, so instead of using two lines to do this, you can just use a single line, string name equals genius, boom. Okay. String city equals London. <clears throat> a variable can change its value during 
the program multiple times. For example, the player of a game can change his name. Yep. And then, for example, this would be Hoy since they do declare it the second time. Okay. And then, so the lesson takeaways for today are going to be a variable has a name and a type of the value it holds. To declare a variable, to declare a variable, use the type followed by the name of the variable, and then you can assign a value to the declared variable using the equals operator. A variable can change its value during the program by being assigned to a new value. So yeah, and then we will learn more. Uh, variable types in the next lesson so for this the challenge is the given program declares a variable that holds all the letters of the English alphabet complete the program to output the value okay <clears throat> so we just need to output this so we can we can do let's see I was thinking system, oops, I cannot spell system dot 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 print line. Um, so instead of writing the whole alphabet, we can just type alphabet since it's already declared and boom. Done. Okay. And then class, remember, um, class keyword, public static more, public static void main, um, and then that's gonna be the string, and then print dot out dot color, system dot out dot print line, and then you print the color. Sorry about that. Perfect. And we get XP and some cubes. Yeah, I don't know why they started doing the ads, but we did um, climb the leaderboard and boom. And some of you guys were wondering why I don't do these pro version ones because you do need pro and I'm just trying to keep it simple for you guys so you guys do um, follow along pretty easily and I know not everyone has the resources to invest into this app um, yeah so until next time um, you guys have a great day please like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one